Hello my classy people, Wayne Bolden. I'm here at the Speed King channel. Of course, it is hump day. It is Wednesday. Hope you had a great, great week for sure. And please, closed captions, turn them on. Tip sheets available this weekend. It's going to be a lot of rain once again on the East Coast. So we're going to take a look at the Busana Stakes, Busana Stakes at Aquadot on Saturday for sure. We'll take a peek very shortly. Email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com if you want our tip sheets. $15 for all stakes, and of course, a full card is $20. Well, the Busada stakes, Busanda stakes, I would like to say, is race number six on the card Saturday, uh, going a mile, a mile and an eighth, actually, for 100000 on the tur on the dirt, and it's only a small field of five. So I'm going to give you our top. Our top uh, two picks in here for sure. Uh, the race is fairly even across the board. So, again, when it's a short field like this and the race is of the five entries, it's pretty even. Make sure you're getting at least three to one or better for your money. No reason to take the dead odds favorite here unless you got a different type of play going on. But look for a little value. Won't be much in here for sure. Four to five to one. And um, I'm going to start right in uh, with my top pick here, and it would be the number uh, two horse, uh, Skimmering Allure. Well, I've bet in Skimmering Allure a few times. Uh, this filly is a uh, three-year-old filly, is by Entice on the back end by Wild again. Two wins from seven starts, three seconds. They paid 40000 for this horse in 2022. Love the fact that Kenny McPeak is training the horse because, you know, Kenny McPeak does very well with uh, young, young uh, fillies for sure. And um, Don Mazel stakes on uh, the 2nd of December, ran second at 5 to 1 behind Life Talk. Didn't disgrace, now back in 42 days, uh, still going the same distance at a mile on the eighth. Uh, Manny Franco's in the arms today. Alvarado was in the arms uh, last time in the Mandanzel Stakes. So, again, this one should be prime now. You know, the pace scenario really will dictate this race because it's such a small fill. Uh, simmering allure uh, will be towards the back of the pack of the five, right? Probably, again, dead last or next to last at worst, okay? So that's going to be the challenge for her. What type of pace does make the race, right? Uh, is up front for sure. But she should save ground, and um, it's only seven starts she has. She should still be improving. Coming out of that grade two race, now to an overnight uh, stakes, the Bosanda stakes, this should be an easier, easier spot for a simmering lure. And having said that, well, I might as well uh, take the horse, uh, the, the, uh, the speed horse in the race. And so I would have to say that um, I would have to sit uh, with uh, most of all uh, the number three horse. Uh, most of all comes out of the same race that uh, Simmering Allure did, the Demoselle Stakes on December 2nd. Trained by my boy, of course, it's Billy Mott, and we got Lascano in the yarn. Only one win from four starts, but I do think uh, this filly won't be on the lead. I think the number five horse, Princess Mayfair, will be on the lead, but I think the number three horse, most of all, will sit the perfect trip and probably will be trying to get the jump, obviously, on the two-horse Simmering Allure. So the number three horse to me uh, really is the horse that looks like uh, she's going to trip out. The number three, uh, trained by Billy Mott, Lascano's in the yards, never have a problem with uh, uh, Jose Lascano for sure. This horse is by Quality Road, Bernardini, and owned and bred by... Godolphin. No, yeah. So, of course, I like the number three horse a whole bunch here, most of all. So there it is in the uh, Basanda Stakes uh, on Saturday at beautiful Aquadot up in Jamaica, Queens. It does predict a rainstorm, so again, keep your eye on that. It's a small fill, okay, so we'll just have some rooting interest uh, for sure. Our top pick is the number two horse, the Kenny McPeak simmering allure and again godolphin has the three horse most of all 
two three for us three two in that order for sure maybe i'll put together a small pick three my name is wayne bolden i'm your speed king of course